So I've spent the last week testing Gemini 3 Pro and Nano Banana Pro and a lot of things actually surprised me in the best possible way. Up until last week, my LLM stack did not include Gemini that much. Last week actually changed my mind. So in today's video, I'm going to show you a couple of use cases that I found the most interesting that basically highlights the possibilities and opportunities that this model brings for people like myself who are small business owners, solopreneurs. And by the end of this video, you'll have a much better idea what can you create with this model. Let's jump right in. Okay, so we're in Gemini now. You can access it simply gemini.google.com or you can also access it through Google AI Studio. The first thing I'm very excited about in this new release is the creation of interactive digital products. It could be paid digital products or it could be lead magnets. The power of this new model lays in its incredible ability to create very beautiful and interactive user interfaces. The results that I've seen are really impressive. The first thing we want to try is to give it a task to create a lead magnet. First, we're going to ask it to brainstorm. So we're just going to give it a prompt who we are, what we are, what kind of lead magnet we're looking for. And then we ask for some suggestions. Suggest 10 valuable lead magnets for my AI Solopreneur membership. It should be val valuable to people who really want to leverage AI but feel overwhelmed and don't know where to start. And we just press send. Okay, so we got some suggestions, the five minute AI fix checklist, copy paste prompt library, solopreneurs AI tech stack guide, quiz, what's your AI readiness score, email challenge. Let's try and build a quiz. I think quizzes and calculators are some of the most well-performing lead magnets. So we can just try and create one. Let's do like this. I just want to copy this and I'm pressing on tools and then I choose canvas. So choosing canvas and making sure that the thinking with three pro is enabled will actually let it build. So we're just going to paste this, build this, and then we are going to go to a website that we kind of like aesthetics of. So let's say I like Gumroad. Like I think it has a very interesting aesthetics, but it could be pretty much anything. So I just want to show this functionality. We copy the page and then we say build this using this as a style reference. If I would be building this for real, I would, of course, prompt it so much more to get the actual like content that I'm looking for. But we just want to try the functionality of building. So then we send it off and it starts building. So it generates the code. I'm not actually doing anything here, but we can see that it's working. And here we have our quiz. I definitely adopted the Gumroad style. What's your red AI readiness score? Find out exactly where to start based on your business personality. We press the quiz. What consumes most of your energy? Let's say writing content, current relationship with tech. If AI could magically do one thing for you today, what would that be? What's holding you back? You have your archetype and your custom roadmap. Um, use voice typing in ChatGPT. I mean, the best hack ever. Use the copy paste prompt library to create a consistent brand voice. It sounds like you. And here we have an email so we can connect it if we want to send something afterwards. But what I would want to do is I want to CTA directly into my AI Solopreneur Club. So if I want to do that, I can just select here and say create a CTA to click on uh, AI Solopreneur Club. I want to make things easier for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and create the link for this community and copy the link and go back to Gemini and see if it can actually integrate that. Now we're going to retry it again. It didn't remove the email, but we can easily remove that if we don't want it. But it made an interactive button. It actually does link to this. So cool. 
if you go to the bottom right corner here, there's stars and it says add Gemini features. So this is actually pretty cool because when you press on this one, Gemini is basically like looking at what it's just created and it's challenging itself. Can it be improved in some way? Are there any more features that could be added, like taking this context into the consideration? So here's the suggestions. I see you're looking to add some real AI magic to your quiz. I'll integrate Gemini API to generate personalized power prompt. Instead of just giving them a static result, this feature will take the specific quiz answers and generate unique prompt that they can use immediately in GPT or Claude. It's the ultimate quick win lead magnet. Let's do this. This is quite incredible. So then the person would be able to copy this prompt and go to the LLM and paste it. Speaking of a value packed lead magnet, because not only it's interactive, which means that we retain the attention of our potential customers, but it also gives a real value that they just can go ahead and run it. This is how I'm thinking about this. I highly encourage you to apply this thinking for your niche, your industry, whatever you're doing and creating, because this could be really powerful. So I want to show two more examples of things that I've created that took maybe five minutes tops that I wanted to try out. So this is another type of quiz. Also, that was one of the suggestions it gave me. This is like AI voice architect. So this is one of the most common complaints is that people haven't really customized AI enough to make it sound like them and they don't like the generic AI, which is now so easily recognizable, right? So actually creating and crafting your tone of voice or system prompt is a very valuable thing. Not only Gemini suggested that this would be a good lead magnet, but it created one. I gave as a reference point my own homepage, which is in very minimalist uh, style. So we just created it from there. Then you just need to enter your brand name and uh, primary industry. So let's say like, for example, your leadership coach, what's exactly, who exactly you're talking to, a busy and stressed executives. Describe your tone of voice, so let's say direct friendly, empowering, or you can even generate some suggestions here. What are your three non-negotiable brand values? Like in your business, for example, authenticity, human, and here you can also generate some suggestions. And here it creates a system prompt for this type of person. Of course, if we want it to be good, we need to provide much more context. But from here, the person would be able to take a copy of this and have their tone of voice. Like when they create content, it will be already sounding like their defined tone of voice. So this is an incredible lead magnet because it solves a real problem. So just think about what would that be for your niche? What would that be for your industry or whatever service you provide? And then another example, it was also a quiz. I just want to show you as an option how much the value of the time it asks. So like, let's say like this reveal the audit. So you have the audit. You even have like this button that's called the brutal truth roast me. You press on this and it creates a roast, which was such a fun addition. That's what Gemini suggested. Super fun, providing value. It generates a specific plan based on the things that people pre-select. So super, super cool. Now we're moving on towards Nana Banana Pro capabilities. In that massive release that Google did last week, they also released a new version or like a Nano Banana Pro. So let's say we have an article about what is AI agents, and we want to copy this article and we want to create an infographics about it. Let's say create an infographic for this article should be simple language. Do not overwhelm with too many details. Let's use the gum road again. Use this as a style reference. Here is the article. And let's see what it can do. We make sure that we choose create images. Let's download it and just take a look. It kept the colors of Gumroad a little bit. It pulled all this information from this article. It kept it pretty simple, very simple. I think if we wouldn't prompt it for simplicity, it would be like this massive infographic. It's really cool. And look at the text. The text is just super accurate. Wow. 
Okay, now we're going to try another cool thing and this will be relevant for you if you're selling any type of physical product. So let's say we have an image of this coffee mug, create a professional Photoshop 4K editorial magazine style of this cup placed on the table, close up. Then I give a very defined context in a Japandi inspired aesthetic living room. Japandi is just this combination of Japanese and Scandinavian styles, which I really love. And I've actually created my whole brand of selling digital wall art in this style. So it's close to my heart. So I just want to see what we get. I'm so impressed. This is incredible. This is definitely such a game changer for any e-com store, any product driven business. Think about what could that look for you. Do you have any products? You can do the same with digital products as well. You can just say this is the like a screenshot of my digital product. Let it be a PDF like or a quiz that we just created earlier. Place it on a laptop. Create a professionally looking mock-up mock style. And again, think that we haven't even worked on our prompt. Like this was totally just prompt that we created in a couple of seconds, which could be improved. Some other things that you can think about, like if you have an image of yourself, for example, if you're building a personal brand, you can even ask it to create a photo shoot for you. So I've uploaded my profile picture, create an editorial photo shoot for this person, keep the features of the person without changes because I really want it, don't want it to do anything with my face, but change the environment around to the office space. Let's try. Look at this. It actually did keep my face exactly the same. Wow, this is really incredible. So a lot of things to try there. So the very last thing I want to mention, it's not exactly a use case, but it's a very useful feature. I'm going to show you how to customize Gemini to your needs, again, to your context. You go to settings and then instructions for Gemini and you need to make sure that it's toggled on here. And here you can create different types of statements about yourself, right? If you're familiar with ChatGPT, it looks pretty similar to what memory looks like, but you basically provided context, like who you are, what you do, what type of responses you want. I just started adding it today and I've already seen some examples. It actually refers to these things in the conversations. So I highly recommend if you really want to use Gemini more often. I highly recommend customizing this so it's relevant for your business. I hope you found this video valuable and that you started already thinking how can this be applied to your business? What other opportunities that Gemini 3 Pro can help you create for your business? Something that adds value to your customers and to your ecosystem or business portfolio. And if you want to check out my AI Solopreneur Club membership, I leave the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.